Oh, this is so good. Okay, so that was my new electrical desk, guys. I'm gonna do a new video on it soon after I have a few months with it. I'm building my new PC. It's gonna be my dream gaming slash editing monitor. I am super excited. I was thinking about doing this for at least more than a year now. I've been slowly collecting parts incrementally and I'm so keen to build this. It's a really, really bad day today at Melbourne. The weather is horrendous. So I'm just gonna stay in. It's a Wednesday night, there's nothing to do and I'm just gonna build my PC. I'm now I've actually never built a PC before in my life. Wish me luck, I'm just gonna try to see if I can build it. If I, if I can't or if I get stuck, I might have to just ask some people for help. But besides that, let's do this. As you can see, that's the new LG gaming monitor. It's 34 inch and it's curved. Uh, I did an unboxing video on it, so you can probably see it now if you want to, or you can check it out later. Uh, that's the case, it's just sitting there. There's nothing in there. I'm gonna start assembling it. Uh, this is the keyboard. This is the keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a company in America and IQ Unix and they specialize in these really cool eccentric looking keyboards and it's just beautiful. I've got the rest of the parts in the other room. I'm gonna bring it. We're gonna clear up some space and let's see how we go. There's a couple of things that you need when you're building a PC. Power supply. RAM. Liquid cooling, SSD, some snakes, the processor, the motherboard. I'm about to open up the Gigabyte Z490. Uh, it doesn't even matter, I'm just too excited. It's nice and slick. It supports Intel 10th gen as well. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top of this. Ah, so. So. This is where the CPU plate's gonna go. Take this off. Ooh. Now we move on to the CPU. There we have it, damn. It's crazy to think that we live in a world where the CPU is that small. Okay. Okay, let's do the RAM. This is 32 gigs worth of RAM, yep. 32 gigs. We're all gamers, <laughs> we sure are. We sure are, buddy. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is these do light up as you can see it on the box right here. I'm not sure if it's RGB or just LED, but yeah, two 16 gigs worth of RAM, 32 gigs. Okay, so now we are putting in the RAM. Uh, certain RAMs go in certain different locations. That's slot one, two, three, four. You need to look at your own motherboard to see uh, where your RAM will go. I have two RAMs, so I'm gonna be putting it at two and four according to my manual. Uh, so just make sure you're checking your own manual when you're doing this. Um, and don't be afraid if you are forcing it down. It's okay, it's not going to break. One side is going to go in. See that? That's in. Now this side is going to come up. So you're going to have to force this down now. So the clips automatically clip that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And now, uh, I fitted the SSD, the one terabyte memory, into here. This was really hard to get into as the screw is super skinny and um, I just had to find the right screwdriver. It was like a Phillips head one. So we're gonna just screw this back in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all these things. Uh, that's the mouse, but that's not coming yet. And I'm gonna get the power supply ready. Okay, the power supply. Oh, I like that power play. I think I've used that font before somewhere. Really cool, actually. Corsair. So, this brand is supposed to be really good. You can tell it's um, gonna be a heavy duty one. Oh, look at that. Look how big that is. Some, some cable ties. Um, it's a huge fan, actually. I might take this out first. This is going to be uh, the cables, I'm assuming. Yep. There's a lot of them, jeez. Oh my god. I don't even know what they're all for. <laughs> okay, that's gonna go there. And this is the bad boy here. This is gonna be the fan that we have. And yeah, that looks cool. Come on. And we've got the cables. This will all connect to the motherboard, which is down there. 
and I'm gonna read the manual on how to do this. I think these ones from what I saw in the manual, but I haven't read it properly, I should, um, I think I'm gonna go back to it, is like some of the CPU ones that it says CPU will be connecting to certain ports in the motherboard. And there's a graphic card one as well. That's also gonna probably go in the back. Um, that's the huge one, the 24 pin one, I think. Uh, I just need to read the manual. So I'm gonna read it properly before I do anything uh, drastic. Okay guys, it's day two. I actually stopped in the last sequence that you saw in this video uh, because I was just too tired, too hungry and I've been doing it for like three hours trying to just figure everything out and trying to take some good shots for the video. Just kind of unscrewed these. I'm just going to put the screws here. And okay. So, I've got to be extra careful because this is glass. Okay, sweet. So, this is the side panel. I've actually just put a cloth on the table because I could see it getting scratched and I kind of just don't want to damage it. I have screwed all the screws for the motherboard to go in. I've gently put it in. Um, I had to be really careful because I didn't want to damage the fans or any of the chips on the motherboard itself. This is how it looks so far right now. I don't know what, if I've done it right. I hope I have. I'm just going to reread all the instructions just to make sure um, before I progress anymore. Now that 70% of the things are installed, uh, it's time to do the liquid cooling. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be the fan. Okay, okay. So that's where the, I'm, okay, so this is where the fans are going to install. I know that much. That's going to install on the motherboard. I'm going to put the fans in now and onto the radiator. I've done attaching this and this is how it should look apparently uh, according to the manual these are the fans and it's connected to the radiator and this is going to attach to the motherboard okay now I'm gonna figure out where this goes hmm. I think we'll go in through here like that that's one of the stock fans. It's back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you guys through this camera, you probably get a better, better angle. So the case is in, I put the coolants in uh, and the fans. I removed that stock fan, which was that one, and it was down there, I've moved that out. Um, I've left the ARGB fan, so that's gonna light up. That's gonna look cool. These two are gonna light up as well. CPU is in there, as you can see. Um, the two uh, RAMs are there, SSD's done, power supply is done. The only thing that's worrying me right now is the uh, cable management. There's just too many cables coming out of everywhere. I'm kind of just getting overwhelmed all over there as well. But um, I'm gonna have to figure it out. What's next is we're gonna have to attach this to the CPU. Apply the grease on the CPU. This thing. It's pretty small as you can see it. And from what I've seen in YouTube videos, because I've been watching heaps on this, I don't want to stuff it up, uh, is that you don't put that much grease in, just a little bit. Not too much. Remove these cables. It's so hard. Cruise in equally just distribute the weight easily okay so I have gone ahead and also plugged in all the cables for the power supply uh, there's the cable for the graphic card when I get that uh, there's for the CPU the 24 pin the fans the RGB it's the whole shebang this looks like a snake's head or something man it's just so many cables but it is a 750 watt power supply so yeah, this is gonna be a heavy duty one. Dad probably won't be happy with the electricity bill, but um, you know, man's got a game. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Woohoo! Damn. Okay, let's see what colors we can change. Rainbow. Oh, the blinking rainbow, 
blue, blue. Okay, so these are all the colors at once. That's pretty cool as well, damn. The water block looks just so cool. Uh, rainbow continuous, I think. Just blue and then purple. This I mean, they're all kind of changing in all different colors. This is just different rhythm. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm 90% done. I'm just waiting on my graphic card to arrive. Unfortunately, when we went back in lockdown. Um, so I haven't just completely put the uh, frames back on. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to leave the CPU like this. It took me two days to completely do this. I did have some help with some cable management. My girlfriend kindly helped me. So did my sister. So thank you guys so much. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This wasn't really a tutorial on how to build a PC. I was my, it was my first time building a PC. I just wanted to share this valuable uh, experience with you guys. Thank you guys.